What is going on, my sexy programmers? It's Real Touch GML here, back with another Game Maker Minecraft tutorial. And today we are, of course, continuing on the series, and we are going to be uh, implementing rendering methods and a couple glitch fixes that I will show you. All right. So I'm just gonna head in the room real quick, and for my player here, I'm going to just plop him in the middle of the room or somewhere around there, uh, just because if you remember last time. He started all the way at the at the left, and if you would see like empty space there, so so now we're good, and I'm, that that's also a glitch that we will get around to fixing eventually when I feel like it. Uh, so yeah, so now we have infinite terrain, which we did in the last tutorial, which is great, and uh, yeah, so now we just have to do some rendering methods here. Now, one thing that is very concerning is that no computer can hold an infinite amount of of objects in the game so basically uh, even though we're not rendering the block it still exists in a list so yes it'll cut down a lag but if we just go on and we just start walking for 30 minutes plus uh, you're gonna experience some lag because there's gonna be thousands upon tens of thousands of blocks in the list. No computer can actually hold that much amount of data. So I'm gonna be getting into deloading chunks later on, but for now we're just gonna do the rendering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a script real quick. And I'm gonna name it render. And basically the idea of this render system is to only render the blocks that are in the room. All right, so if, if first off, I, I start off by deactivating all of the blocks. So we could say instance, deactivate object and we can say ob object block if we just did that and we went ahead and put in the object generate here and we go in the step event and in here we just say render and we run it so once we run it we should see no blocks at all and that is of course because we're deactivating the blocks, so they're not actually, you know, we're not visible. So what we want to do with this render uh, script here is only activate blocks that are in our view, right? So how we can do this is we can say instance activate region, okay? So the left is going to be view underscore x view zero. The the top is going to be view underscore y view zero. The width is going to be view underscore w view, which is, stands for width. And the height is going to be view underscore h view. You guessed it. There we go. So, and there we go. And then we're going to say true for the inside. All right. So if we did that and we go ahead and run it, as you can see, boom, we now have, and, and you can see kind of on the side, you can, you can stop that where you can kind of see it activating on the side there by uh, by just adding more to the view there. So now you can see, uh-oh, this caused a huge problem with the water. And I know we're walking on water now, we're like, Jesus, uh, we'll get into that later. But basically what's happening is because there's a uh, deactivated view, that means because of our water script, that hey, there's nothing to the right of us because we are that's deactivated. So like if I went over here, and I, you see that this blue water, it's now expanding to the right. See right there, and all that's right here because there's nothing to the right because that's already deactivated because it's out of our view. So how do we fix this? It's actually very simple, and it should make sense to you. And so so here it is in our alarm zero here. We can say, all right, this is it, right? All we have to do is check if it's in our view, right? So, all we have to do, if, whoops, here we go. If x is greater than or equal to view underscore x view zero, and x is less than or equal to view underscore w view zero. So we just do that. Let's put this in there. 
make sure the alarm zero is outside because if this turns out not to be true, then it's then it's uh it's not gonna shoot through alarm zero anymore. All right, so if we just did this and we went ahead and ran it, let's go and let it compile here, and we go ahead and try and find if I can remember the controls for the game. All right, so let's try and find some water here. Do to do, do. Actually, let's restart the room. Restart. There we go. There's some water. So now, as you can see, we don't actually get how they how they lap each other up like that. So I can bring it totally out of view, and it still comes back, and the water is still fine. This also, if you watch the last tutorial, this solves the problem of the chunks, the water chunks combining together when they get generated. So there you go. All right, so that's gonna be the tutorial for today. Alrighty, so next tutorial, uh, I'm thinking of going into a lighting system actually. So tell me what you think about that. So go ahead and like, don't subscribe, and I will see you guys next time, of course. Peace.